Could criminal charges be filed in the case of a Georgia teen found dead in a high school gym? A lot of you have had that question after we told you the Lowndes County Sheriff is reopening the investigation into Kendrick Johnson's death. Kendrick was 17 and his death was originally ruled an accident. The family never believed that. The sheriff says he recently received 17 boxes of evidence from a federal investigation and wants to see if there are any contradictions in the case. But with eight years passing since Johnson's death, many of you have reached out to ask us if it's too late to charge someone. Shanu Her gets you answers. Kendrick Johnson's family has never given up trying to find answers after his death in 2013. After the Lowndes County Sheriff's Office says it's reopening his case, many ask the question, is the statutes of limitations up if it is found that a crime was committed? I took that question to Brad Sheely, the district attorney in Lowndes County. Sheely says if the sheriff's office investigation finds Johnson's death was in fact a murder, then there's no limitation on the charge. No, there is no statute of limit limitations uh, on the crime of murder. So at any time today, tomorrow, in the future, there's a person identified. Uh, as the murderer, then they can be prosecuted for it. However, Sheely says any charges beyond that really hinges on two things. If the investigation finds there were other crimes committed outside of murder, and if there is a suspect. In that situation, there would not be a statute of limitations issue because the individual who committed those offenses has not yet been identified. And the statute wouldn't begin to run until you know that the crime was committed and who committed the crime. Lowndes County Sheriff Ashley Polk has vowed to diligently go through the case. I want to start fresh with it and look at it all the way through. I think the community deserves it. Johnson's family and friends are holding on, hoping he gets justice. They've been through eight years of hell. There's so many flags here. Sheely says if the investigation finds a crime was committed in Lowndes County, his office will then prosecute the case. And he says to Johnson's family, if the case does land in his office, he will work hard and be fair when it comes to this case.